Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Discord bot on your mobile device. This works both on Android and iPhone, and this tutorial shows you how to create a bot and also create commands and other type of features that the bot can offer simply on your mobile device without any coding whatsoever. So the very first thing you're going to do, and by the way I am going to be, you, you'll see a mouse on the screen, uh, but I am controlling my phone with my computer um, so um, that's the reason for the mouse on the screen but other than that though this is essentially a phone this is similar to your phone it might look a little different but it's gonna be the exact same steps on how to do it so first thing we're gonna do is go to the Play Store here or if you're on iPhone you'll go to the App Store or Apple Store and you're gonna click on that and we're gonna go to the search bar and we're going to search up Discord bot uh, and the same or similar sort of things will pump, uh, pop up. And the one you're going to be looking for is Bot Designer for Discord app. Now on, mo on iPhone, it'll look the exact same. I think it, the icon, though, is a purple tint. Uh, but either way, though, this is the app you're looking for the, with this logo here. And all you're going to do is click on here and you're going to install this app to your mobile device. Uh, and while it's installing, uh, we're going to actually create our basis of our bot that we'll be working with. So what you're first going to do is go to Google or Safari if you're on iPhone, and you're going to simply go to discord.com slash developer slash applications. Oops, applications, let me spell it right. And then we're going to search that up. And you're going to click on this first thing here called the Discord Developer Portal. So we're going to open up this site here, and once you're here, you will have to log in with your Discord account. Um, so you will have to, now I would assume most mobile users that use Discord Mobile, uh, they, aren't, um, they aren't logged in on their browser with their uh, Discord account. Uh, so this is something you will have to do, so hopefully you'll remember your password. Anyways, let's log in. Once you're signed in, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. And you'll want to make sure you're on the Applications tab, which you should be by default. And all you're going to do is click New Application in the top right. You're going to choose a name of your application or bot. So I'm just going to call this one Exceed, Exceeds Tutorial, Oops, Tutorial Bot. Okay. Click Agree and then Create. Uh, and then it'll create the bot. Now you can, from there, you could choose an icon for your bot. You could obviously rename it, you could add a description, uh, but honestly you don't need to unless other people are using your bot. Uh, you could add tags as well, but once again this is if other people are using your bot, but I'm assuming you're making this you know, for your own server. Then once you have all the general information set up, all you're going to do is click on the tab here and you'll see a bunch of different options here, but the one you're going to want to go to is the bot tab. Uh, and once you're here, you'll have to build a bot in quotes. Uh, so it says bring your app to life by adding a bot user. Uh, so you could choose a icon, you could choose a banner for your bot and a name for the bot as well as like as well it as as it will give a uh, number for it, uh, and then also give you a token. And now we're here for this token. This is the important part. So what you're going to want to do is click the reset token option, and then once you put in your password and authorize it, then you will have a token to use. Now, just to note, when you are doing any bots or creating any bots or whatever never ever give this token away if you do think you accidentally gave it away definitely click reset token so then no one has access if someone has access to your token they essentially can hack every single server that your bot is in not literally hack the server but they could abuse the bot and just raid a bunch of servers it's just horrible so you never want to give your token away uh, but this is what you will need on your own time uh, when you're creating the bot on your mobile device so from here, all we're going to do is click the copy button, so then it's copied to your clipboard. And then from there, we're going to go back to our app. Okay, so this is the app here. First things first, make your own Discord bots. Easy as clicking a button. So let's just go through this stuff here. Uh, command creator, and this is exactly why this is the way to do it on mobile, uh, because no other app offers this. So all you're going to do is go to the bottom right corner here where it says create new bot. Uh, and then you're going to choose your name. Now, it doesn't let me actually type in this app, so I'm just going to uh, have to manually click this. So I'll just call it Exceed Exceeds Bot, just so it's simple. And then you're going to put your bot token here, which you copied earlier. You're going to paste it in. And then once you have that, all you're going to do is just 
go to the bottom here, just agree to these two uh, fields here. Uh, you could worry about all this stuff, but of course it says, don't worry, all these values can be changed later. So you can change these settings later. Uh, but all you do is click create bot. It'll set it up for you. So if we click on our bot here, um, as you can see, it says that you are using message command triggers without having enabled command intent. Uh, so we don't have command intents enabled. So how to do that quickly uh, is simply go back to the app here. Uh, here we go. Let's go back to the the portal and we're going to go to the, okay, so make sure you're in the bots tab and all you're going to do is just scroll down till you see uh, privileged gateway intents. Uh, and you're going to turn on all of these. So just, I would just turn these all on. Not that you need all of them on, but just so you could use uh, this properly. Uh, and then click Save Changes. And then once you're done that, you're going to go back to the app. So once you're back on the app, you're going to want to go to the Settings tab. You're going to scroll down and click on Go to Gateway Intent Settings. And you're going to click Sync Intents. So this will sync your settings that you just updated with your bot. And as you can see, it enables it. So you know, so you now have everything enabled. Uh, so if you go back to the main page here, let's re reload it. There we go. So now the message is gone, and we should be able to create commands for this bot. Uh, so if you go to this next bottom tab here, there is the create or the command creator section, uh, and it'll there'll be a sample command, but we'll just delete that for now. Um, and they're just going to click on this command creator. Now this is very fun to create because you could create pretty much any, any command that you'd like. There's a long list of different things uh, that you'd like to do. So you could create a command name. Uh, so let's just say you want to create a ban command. We'll just call this one. Uh, okay, well let me type. So I'm just going to have to type it in here. So I'll just call this one ban. And we will have our prefix as an exclamation mark. And we'll just put exclamation mark ban. Uh, and then we'll just do ban mention user uh, and then I'll show a reason for the ban so you can put a reason here uh, and then you can choose a reason for the ban and now this is where it could get really not necessarily complicated but this is where you could really customize your commands because you could if you click on this little question mark icon it'll show you all the different functions that you could use with these commands now there are a lot of functions to choose from and by using these functions you could do some pretty cool things I bet and if you have a lot of time, you could probably go into these because there is a lot of different things to go through. So this default no mention message basically means that it won't send a ban message uh, when you send the ban through, but it will mention the user when they're banned. And that's about it. So we'll just say you have been banned. Been banned. Okay. And then from there, all you're going to do is click create command and it'll... I'll essentially create it for you. And the other thing is you can actually upload script to it uh, if you'd like. But this bot does it all for you. But if you do want to do some really weird customization uh, with scripting uh, and you know how to do that, then be my guest. But of course, you could completely ignore that. So you can see the command trigger here and you can also see the reply message. Uh, let's just save this command here. Uh, let's just create another command here that we could easily test because we don't want to test the ban one too much. Uh, we're going to do this one. We're going to call it user count. Uh, just as a simple count, uh, command to check the count of the user in the server. Uh, we'll just we'll just do uh, the command to be exclamation or yeah exclamation mark count. Uh, and then we will simply do here. We'll do send reply message. Uh, and then we'll go into the settings here and we'll look up count. Uh, and then we'll just go down here to this one called members count because uh, it's the one we'll want to use. Uh, so you'll just go back and you will type that in. So you'll do, uh, so this is the reply message. So we'll say uh, the, oh, I forgot we have to type, we'll do the member count is uh, and then we'll just do a dollar sign and we'll do member count because this is the function that returns the member count uh, so we'll just click create command after that uh, we can just verify everything here and I'll show here and then we'll just click save uh, and now we have to host the bot so if we go back to the main page here 
Now, this is the only thing that they get you from. Now, technically, hosting is free because it says you could watch an ad for 140 minutes of free hosting time, uh, but you can't have it hosting 24-7. Now, I will have a bot or a video in the future for hosting bots 24-7, uh, but for now, just if you're using this bot, of course, or if you're using this app, uh, yes, you could create an awesome bot for your server. So then if you don't have a computer at home and you want to just create a bot with your phone, you can create an amazing bot uh, on your mobile device with this app. But uh, you do have, you won't have unlimited hosting time for free. But technically you could if you just keep watching ads uh, for the 140 minutes of free hosting time, which is quite a bit of time. I mean, that's two and a half hours at most. Uh, so either way, we have 19 minutes of free hosting time left, so it should be online right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is invite the bot to our server, so we'll click invite, and then we'll click add your bot to the server. Now since we're already logged in from earlier, it'll work out, and we'll just add it to my tutorial server. Please go away, so we go, tutorial server, and click authorize, and then we'll just verify here. There we go, and it should add it to the server, so if we go to here... Now we're already signed in, so we might as well just do it on the browser here. Uh, and here we go. So we are in our server now, our tutorial server. Uh, and if we just go, let's see, is the bot here? Go to the member list. Uh, yes, so we could see our exceeds tutorial bot that we created with the app is here. And it's also online, like as the app states. So if the app basically says um, that it's hosting, so if we go back here. If it says that it's hosting and it shows like you have hosting time left, then your bot is online. Uh, but if it's not, then it'll be offline and you'll have to watch another ad <laughs> for more hosting time. Uh, but if we go back to Discord here and we try out our command that we created, uh, which I believe was exclamation mark count. So we'll go to the bot commands channel. Uh, will the last type here? It will. So we'll do exclamation mark count. Press enter. Okay. Press send. Okay, please. Okay, so I just realized I made a mistake here. It's actually supposed to be members instead of member, and then count with an uppercase C. There we go. So now it's blue. So that was my bad. It, you have to make sure that it is a light blue color <laughs> for it to work. Um, so let's just save this and retry the command again uh, because you can see it didn't work. <laughs> uh, so let's do this again. So let's do exclamation mark count. And if you click send, then there we go. So it says the member count is 13. And if we check our members list here, it looks like 13, 8 online three yeah that's 13 users so that is an example of one simple command you can create with spot but of course there are literally so many different commands you can create you could choose the name in this and you could choose what type of message reply what what type of thing happens you could choose you know which type of uh thing happens like send a message or an image or whatever you like or add a reaction uh, and then you could go here and then you could use any of these things to make your command very very personalized and detailed and you could probably make, a, well, easy, a hundred different commands with your bot uh, and make it fully customizable and almost comparable uh, to, you know, some Discord bots, you know, like that everyone uses, like Sapphire or Dino. Of course, you won't have your own uh, dashboard website or anything like that, but, you know, you'll have, like, the same things that those, bot offer, that those bots offer, uh, but it's under your own, your own bot, your own name, you know, so it's really cool. Now, one other thing you could actually do is if you could go to this little refresh thing here, there's actually a status entry. You could change the status of your bot. You could choose uh, which type of thing, like playing or streaming or listening. So let's just say, for example, I'm streaming. Uh, and then we just put the status here. So we could actually view this live. Uh, and we let's just put, like, I don't know, uh, Fortnite, I guess. Okay. And there we go. So it looks like that your bot is streaming Fortnite. And then we just put in a base Twitch uh, URL here and then just click Save Changes. So that's one really cool feature. This bot is setting a custom status for it. Uh, and then the last tab here is the Variables tab, which is, you know, this little icon with shapes. And essentially, creating a variable is, it's like encoding. Now, of course, if you're not familiar with this, uh, variables are used uh, in various ways in code to basically, like, set values and stuff like that. Uh, but so we could create a variable here. It gives an example like cat counter and then one cat is like the value of that variable or the base value of that variable. Uh, and essentially you could create variables here uh, to use uh, within your commands. So let's just say you do use this cat counter thing and let's say it's one cat. You could then use that variable name cat counter 
uh, when you're creating uh, commands. Uh, so you'd actually put it in here and call call the variable basically, uh, and then you know say like you're this is like a cat cat counter plus one or something, and then it runs a command and it basically sets that cat counter variable, uh, and then just adds one to that variable. So then it just changes the value of that variable by one. Uh, for example, uh, now you don't have to be using variables like there's not uh, a ton of different uh, scenarios where you need variables at least for this app for what you're using it for. But of course, if you're doing it in depth. Uh, you might want to do that, uh, but basically you could um, access pretty much everything that you'd want to use or you need to use uh, just through just through uh, what the app actually offers uh, with its built uh, with its built-in uh, functions here. Um, and just by using these built-in functions, uh, you could do pretty much uh, whatever you'd probably like <laughs> to do. So, anyways, that'll be a wrap to this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember the basic steps are basically installing this app on your Android or iPhone device, uh, creating a new application in the di uh, the Discord developer portal, uh, copying the token over to this app, and essentially just going in depth here and uh, creating the commands for your bot and customizing it uh, as much as you can with what it offers you, which it actually offers quite a few things. Uh, aside from a few premium, fun uh, premium content, but the premium content doesn't actually have that many things that... Uh, are very crucial for a bot. Uh, they're more just, you know, icing on the cake. Uh, but other than that, the only downside is the hosting time issue. But of course, you know, you can uh, get free hosting time for watching ads. So it's not it's not like it's completely locked and you have to pay. So overall, this uh, I will give this app a 9 out of 10 uh, for everything that it offers. I don't think I've ever seen an app at all this in-depth for creating a bot on mobile device. Uh, this is probably the best app out there that exists uh, for this type type of thing. So this is the app to go to uh, for creating your bots uh, on your mobile device. It is called the Bot Designer for Discord. Uh, other than that, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you for waiting uh, for me to post more tutorials as I was recovering. Uh, once again, please stay tuned for the next video. Please subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoy this new mobile. St uh, setup that I have here because it is this is all sort of custom so and this is my first time doing a mobile video so tell me if you liked uh, this new mobile video style uh, for mobile content and if you'd like to see more mobile tutorials please leave us suggestions uh, in uh, the comments or in our, my discord server which is linked in the description below other than that though hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next video and hope you guys have a good one bye bye